Hey there, geeks and geekettes. Joe Morgan with Geeks Under Grace here, coming at you with a pretty cool unboxing this week. We're unboxing the Retro Fighters Jab Gamepad for the Nintendo Entertainment System. That's right, Nintendo Entertainment System and PC. It works for both. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. All right, so as you can see here, the Retro Fighters Jab Gamepad uh, has some pretty sweet looking 8-bit art along the side here. If we turn the box up, you can kind of see that a little bit better. This is how it would look hanging on a store shelf. I uh, got the tab up at the top, the Retro Fighters logo across the top there, uh, and then here is what the box would look like. Okay, and then we'll turn it on its side. You can see there, there's a little bit of a like a keychain 8 bit tchotchke in there from the company itself. Uh, and then, of course, you know, it says for the NES and PC dual compatibility next gen wired controller. I think it's pretty interesting that in this day and time we're getting in uh, a controller for the Nintendo Entertainment System that will also work on your PC. So let's start cracking this open. We'll, we'll kind of scan around the uh, the box art here, see what we got. So that there you go is the layout for the controller. That looks pretty familiar, right? That looks quite a bit like an Xbox One controller. That's right. So. You've got the uh, the D-pad over here. I hope that's as good as Nintendo's D-pads have been known to be. Uh, we'll find out since this is a third party. Of course, you've got uh, dual analog joysticks. I don't know how much throw and give they have. I will uh, we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. A select and start button, turbo button, and of course uh, the the clear so that you can clear off the turbo button. A and B, and I think the most <laughs> interesting thing about this, the shoulder buttons right there. You got shoulder buttons on a Nintendo controller now, and from what the developer of the joystick has told me, of the controller has told me, we've also got the uh, L3 and R3 buttons, you know, clicking in the left and right stick, that will also uh, replicate A and B buttons for games like, say, Jackal or something like that. Um, nothing on the on the front. Almost got kind of a guile-looking uh, streets of, you know, streets of rage or something like that. Uh, fi final fight sort of uh, character there. I like that 8-bit art style. There's the jab gamepad logo. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the actual unboxing of this. So it's got a little bit of tape on the back there. Gonna need to get through that, or of course you can always pull through it. We don't like to do that. Okay, so let's get this out of its packaging. I'll close the packaging back up so we've got a nice little uh, bit of advertisement to go along here as we do this. Okay. So here's what we've got out of the box. We've actually got the controller in my hand here. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a really sweet looking controller. Uh, and I, revu I reviewed the thumbstick, the, the thumb grips um, for the PlayStation 4 controllers on geeksundergrace.com last year. They were phenomenal and I'm hoping for a lot out of this. So uh, yeah, there's the, uh, the 8 bit fighter keychain pretty cool looking I will be adding that to my keychain I know I will let's see set him up down here there we go and the uh, the container itself of course that's pretty standard third party um, plastic wear just kinda molded to fit the controller now let's get our hands on the controller itself. There you go. Okay. Um, got the Retro Fighters logo up top. Select and start buttons. Now that is hard plastic, but it's got a great feel to it. Good throw on the buttons. Um, I was expecting, I wasn't sure what to expect out of that. Uh, you know, the original Nintendo controllers were rubberized, but th those feel good. 
Um, in fact, all of the buttons are hard plastic. The thumb grips here, those feel just like, just like Xbox One thumb grips. Um, wow, that feels like it came straight out of an Xbox One. That is really comfortable. Let's kind of show off uh, the side of the controller, and I will show off something to you that I hadn't originally noticed um, about the controller at first. Uh-oh, did you see it? Did you see it? I saw it. Look at that. I, I was expecting the one shoulder button. I was not expecting a trigger. What? So now I'm really curious. Like, does this work? You know, will this work as more than just A and B buttons? Because we have an A and B and an A and B trigger. An A and B, A and B on the face of the controller right there as well. And then <laughs> you click in the sticks. You can hear the click there. And you've got another A and B click. Uh, the D-pad and the A and B. Okay, so these feel a little smaller than the A and B button from your standard NES uh, brick controller. But they still feel alright. I'll, I'll know better after a few hours of gaming with them. The D-pad is... Uh, it also feels pretty good. It's it's definitely hard plastic, but then again, so was it for the original NES controller. No worry there. Um, the throw on the shoulder buttons on the triggers. Now, I'm I'm. It feels good. It feels like if you're used to using triggers on modern controllers, this is probably going to be the way you want to go for your NES games. But I don't know. I mean, A and B button. There you go. That's right on its face. You can turbo either of the buttons um, and uh, so let's go ahead and set the controller aside. You can look at that and we'll examine the next portion of it. This is the most fascinating thing about this entire controller to me. You've got the NES port right there, right? Coming out of the same box as a USB jack. So, uh, that's, that's really unique. I have never seen anything like this. The uh, the jab gamepad from Retro Fighters is showing a lot of promise to me right now, based on the fact that I am a modern gamer, but I really like retro stuff. I've got my Retron that we're going to be giving this some some time with, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the. Retro Fighters Gamepad. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Be sure to stay tuned to geeksundergrace.com for the full written review on the controller. Give us a comment below, like and share and subscribe to us, and be sure to follow us at Geeks Under Grace on Twitter. God bless you all. Have a great day. Go forth and game.